Hello all. Welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, we are going to conduct the stress analysis on the crane hook. So the hook is fixed at the top and it is subjected to a load of 900 Newton. The material is a high strength steel. The Young's modulus and Poisson ratio are given. Go to workbench. In the left side, you can see various toolboxes. Choose static structural. So here I am going to define a new material. So right click on engineering data, choose edit. So in that define a material, the material name is HSS. So here you can see the question mark. The meaning for this question mark is I haven't specified the nature of the material. In the left side, I am going to choose the isotropic elastic behavior and drop it here. Now you can type the Young's modulus here. So the Young's modulus is 233 gigapascal so e9 and the poisson ratio is 0 0.28 now go to project right click on geometry go to import geometry choose browse so the geometry file link is given in the description choose crane hook click ok now right click on model choose edit now click the plus symbol near the geometry Choose crane hook. You can see material here. Click the arrow and change the material into HSS. Now right click on the mesh. Choose generate mesh. Next we are going to apply the boundary conditions. Choose static structural. Choose fixed support. Click control. Select these two faces and apply a fixed support. Next go to force, select the cylindrical surface, click apply. So we have two options for defining the force, either vector or component. And I am selecting component, so I can see three directions. I am applying minus 900 Newton in the negative y direction or the opposite direction. Okay, so you can see the positive direction it is going up I have given the negative for opposite direction now click solution so here add the results we want to visualize so go to stress choose equal and stress go to deformation total deformation now right click on the solution choose solve now the solution is completed Click equivalent stress. So you can see that the maximum equivalent stress is 1.5 e power 6. So you can animate this. And you can go to probe option to visualize where the maximum stress occurs and where the minimum stress occurs. Similarly, you can click the total deformation. The maximum deformation is 9.2 e power minus 6 meter you can also visualize this if you want to save the images go to images choose image to file and give a name for the image and you can save it so if you want to view the mesh statistics click the mesh choose statistics and you can visualize the number of nodes and the elements present in this structure. Thank you.